Okay, hello everyone. <laughs> this is the second try, uh, second video, but basically this is about emotional eating. I know that uh, you voted in the poll the other day. So um, it's really funny because like you so started, obviously decided I'm going to start doing more online work. Um, I actually get pretty nervous before uh, these videos. So um, I will try to uh, obviously do it on a regular basis, uh, a few times a week. So please do ask any questions. But um, I did write here, so obviously not to go off the topic. So, but if you have any questions uh, during this video, do please ask. Um, so um, I want to talk about emotional eating just because I have done it myself. I have been going through and uh, I've obviously on a few occasions, I had people telling me to take actually responsibility for my, for my own actions and the way I ate, the way I behaved and the way I acted towards myself was quite self-destructive and uh, I just know that those tips were really hurtful at that time because I knew what I needed to do but I just couldn't couldn't snap out of it so um, I would like really to help you if you are struggling with that to kind of just to understand and to um, take the pressure off to kind of rather than beating yourself about that um, you are feeling that way and that you're constantly in that cycle that uh, you are uh, basically trying to uh, not to suppress your emotions but it's more to um, to try to calm yourself and to kind of find that some kind of a joy and happiness by eating so um, so the thing is, is like if you're eating through emotions, um, it's basically, um, we, I mean, we know that we are passing the ball, so kind of for, from one frustration. So it's important to actually understand the triggers. Um, what is what is it that it actually motivates you to eat uh, towards food? It can be even like happy, you know, happy emotions. Uh, it can be also, you know, any, any um, emo like a negative emotions, frustration, stress. Um, being depressed or anxiety or kind of these days we're kind of feeling more uh, overwhelmed with emotions um, rather than kind of uh, traumatic events as such so um, and basically it's kind of you when you discover what is that that is uh, causing you to eat it's try to find a different uh, different channels how to get that energy out away from you uh, or like those emotions it can be the journaling um, it's it's very very helpful so if you're feeling frustrated so actually moving onto the journaling so you write your emotions uh, it can be uh, maybe listening some inspirational podcasts uh, so that it's kind of like to get you out of that uh, kind of negative mindset uh, it can be maybe doing something for community doing something for other people um, help others uh, kind of you really kind of gives you the feeling of that you're doing something good for others not kind of just that you're constantly trying to uh, put yourself down um, exercise obviously exercise is always going to come as a source of um, the kind of uh, just to kind of separate you away from food uh, but also like meditation self-care to kind of for you just to understand why is um, why you're actually important that you need to start looking after yourself um, so so while you're kind of uh, while you know those triggers that they're kind of kind of causing that you're you're going to eat but also to realize what are the trigger foods for example that you're surrounded with so for example if you're doing shopping and if you're for example buying foods that you're most likely to overeat so for example your favorite foods i know that my favorite food is cakes and if i buy a cake i will not leave that cake until that is eaten and it's not over the course of a few days it's basically over the over the course of maybe like an hour or so so try not to buy and be surrounded with foods like that if you're buying so for example if you are having kids and if you are having a snack cupboard just think is it really necessary to have a snack cupboard if you are having a fruit bowl um lots of people say um i want my kids to have snacks well, also that's all also just the bringing awareness what do we teach our kids what snacks they, and they should have um, so fruit bowl is maybe like um, or basically uh, maybe like treats for kids that you don't like um, so uh, so basically you would then again you need to understand what is triggering you to go towards foods to try to suppress uh, suppress the feelings or also to bring you that little bit of happiness and joy um, it really 
Um, what I have found when I was kind of going through those, uh, those to that period of like kind of not call it self destruction, but it's you know some kind of to um, to just stop the, the way I felt. Um, I really kind of just used food, but then later on, um, I was just thinking, okay, I need to kind of step back, move away from um, what do you call it, like uh, the pressure to eat well or exercise or whatever and just start observing yourself in any situation why are you feeling for example um, why are you feeling urged to eat um, and just kind of before you start eating just ask yourself how am I going to feel after I finish for example a glass or a bottle of wine or uh, few biscuits i mean if you are having a few biscuits then well done you but normally it always ends up in a pack of biscuits or kind of indulging quite a big amount of foods that are kind of giving us that pleasure so if you are overeating all those foods just ask yourself how am i going to feel after i finish that so with uh, with that kind of emotional eating it just basically means the side effects of that is obviously that just a horrible guilt and negative emotions and also, unfortunately, comes weight gain that we all really struggle with when it comes to kind of dealing with that weight gain on top of those uh, that emotional eating. Anyway, so to cut story, if you have any questions, please do ask. But um, basically, if you are, for example, uh, next time when you're kind of having that kind of, I don't know, something basically triggers it, you just feel like, oh, screw it, I'm just going to go and... Uh, I don't know, I'm just going to go to the shop and I'm just going to buy like lots of foods and I'm just going to kind of calm me down. Um, the thing is, is like it lasts 30 minutes for urge to pass. So what you can do is try to find something else to distract you. Uh, it could be maybe like for a lunch break, you go for a walk um, instead of basically sitting um, in the office. Um, it can be... Um, can try to maybe something to do, I don't know if you're at home or maybe like to um, sort out the cupboard or go and visit a friend or have a chat, but just try to kind of in, uh, to pass on your thoughts onto something else for 30 minutes and I promise you that you will notice that you're going to start feeling, I actually don't want to eat that anymore. Um, also, uh, it's important to recognize the triggers and have find a new way of channeling that energy. So as I said, it could be journaling, listening to like podcasts, um, do something for others, um, exercise, meditation, headspace, do anything. Um, then also, uh, if you're, uh, this is really important, if you're having any bad foods, just don't be around them, don't buy them, uh, don't even have them just in case. Buy the foods maybe that you don't like, that you're not going to overeat, and, uh, and as well as like basically allow 30 minutes distraction um, for urge to pass. And the most important thing, the more pressure you put on yourself to um, have, I don't know, healthy diet or to stop that binging cycle or anything like that, you have to step back and you have to allow yourself first to discover what is that that really triggers it that you just feel, do you actually just feel that food can help you with those emotions. Um, I can tell you from my personal experience when I was, it was just everything. It was kids, too much work, uh, pressure on myself to look perfect, to, you know, to be perfect. And uh, at the end of it as well, kind of what is your relationship? Um, I felt very, very disconnected from my relationship and that really affected me in the way I felt. And, uh, and obviously when we spoke about it, kind of things have gone much better. So, Please do not beat yourself about it. There's so many people who suffer with it as well. And uh, just allow yourself to heal, allow yourself to, you know, to feel those emotions. Um, food will never be, um, it will never make you feel better. It's just basically that second that a food passes your mouth and you chew it. And it literally, as soon as the, you swallow that food, those negative emotions are going to come. And it's just to remind yourself that, Food is not going to fix anything. It's going to bring more issues than it's going to actually help you with. Um, as I said just previously, find a way that you can, just to find a different way of getting the frustration out, get the anger out, talk to someone, ask for help, etc. 
So yeah, I just, um, I hope this helps. Um, ask me any questions and um, I am more than happy to answer. And uh, I am sending you lots of um, good vibes for this week. And I'm going to share the workouts that you can do in this challenge. Um, it's that four week one where you can basically cross uh, and complete it. And uh, I will uh, look forward to see you this Thursday, 9.30 live workout. So see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.